Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your brake pads and rotors on a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This has discs all the way around, front and rear, so that's going to make this job real easy. However, we need to replace the rotors because ours are, are grooved and warped. So we got a whole new set for front and rear right there. And you guys can probably see, look at those guys. <laughs> They're pretty bad. So stick around. We'll show you guys all the tools you're going to need and what you're going to need to get this job done. The first thing we're going to have to do is to break our lug nuts loose and remove our wheel. These are a 19 millimeter on this Jeep. So I'll just go ahead and loosen those and then remove the wheel. Which I want you guys to see this. I've got the jack as a backup and a jack stand actually supporting the vehicle. So I'm not getting under this without jack stand. It's a big deal. Alright here we go. So now we got that off. Now what we're going to do is remove this bolt and that bolt there which happen to be a 14 millimeter fits on there real good so we're going to use that guy to break those loose. Now you guys may notice these are pretty dirty so we could hit those with some PV blaster and then make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to grab that and hit them with that real quick and then start wrenching them off. Alright now we got some PV blaster on there. I got those broke loose. Now they're literally finger loose, so you can just wiggle them out just like that. And that, we should get this whole pin should be coming free. Just like that, there we go. Then we're gonna support this guy by sitting it back there because we don't want to hang it by the brake line. That would be very bad. Alright, so now we should be able to wiggle our caliper off. But before we do that, just in case you guys don't happen to have the brake caliper uh, press, I want you to know that you can put a pry bar right in between your brake pad and the piston and push the piston back in. And this one has two, so you would push both your pistons back in right from right here in this little access hole. Just stick it in there, pry it, stick that in there and pry it. And that would push that back so you'd be able to put this on when you get your new pads and rotor on. Just in case you don't. We happen to have one of those, so I'll show you guys how to use that. I'm going to take this off and set it right back there. Alright, now that we got those off, I'm going to take these brake pads off. And you can tell it was definitely at the squeaker. Toss that down, pull that guy off. We're going to set those back there out the way. Now, we need to break that guy loose and this one right up here. And that happens to be a 1316 bolt. So we'll get that get our socket wrench break that guy free and that will remove release this bracket here for the caliper and then we'll be able to take this rotor off all right after a little bit of muscle a lot we now have the caliper bracket free we're gonna go ahead and set that down and now we should be able to just take this guy off. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta give it a little kick. We'll go back and forth. But if you don't have a rubber mallet, you can you can literally just take your foot and just kick it, and it'll come off. Since we're replacing this, I don't mind if it gets damaged. Alright, so to remove it, you actually have to remove this O-ring 
which I've never seen. That's kind of weird. But look at that. Now it slides right off. There we go. Now it's time to put the new one on. All right, so now I've got the new rotor here and we'll be putting this guy right on there. So now we got that on there. We're gonna go ahead and put this O-ring back in place. Which like I said, is really bizarre, but since it was there, we'll put it back. Cause it didn't come with a new one. Good. Recording. Now we're gonna pop off the old retaining clips there. And we'll put these nice new shiny ones in. Bam. Now we're ready to put the bracket back on right here. Helps if you put it on the right way, which is this way. So I'm gonna thread the bottom one in just a little bit so that it'll hold, and then thread the top one in. All right, now that we got those tightened down with the wrench and the mallet hammer, it's time to grab the caliper. Excalibur. And our handy dandy brake caliper tool, which we'll just slide right on in there just like that. And then we're going to just wrench these one way or the other. Sometimes to get, get that it adjusted to where you need it, just hold the, the parts and get it quick. I might order I might order me another one. Yeah these things are nice. Yeah that first one I used it so much man I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I was like yeah <laughs> uh oh and out of one of them what was I doing oh I was working on the truck. I broke one of the little fins off. And oh. bent it. I was like uh, I can't use this anymore. Dang. Any more questions, just come on in. There we go. I'll Thank you. I'll probably be out here in a little bit. Sounds good. Hopefully this... Once I record one side, I don't have to record all the rest of them. <laughs> it's a YouTube hack. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's an O-ring right there that goes around this and holds the rotor in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sitting here, had... I'm pulling and hitting this thing. I'm like, why isn't it coming off? On that oil filter cap, there's <laughs> yeah. an O-ring to hold, help hold it and seal it. I'm like, <laughs> y'all had too much to drink <laughs> when you made these parts. <laughs> <They were baking. laughs> oh man. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so now we got the pads put in there. Now I'm gonna slip the caliper back over. Just like that. Just like that. Da -da -da -da. Beep, beep, beep. Except this bottom one doesn't wanna, this bottom pin doesn't wanna cooperate with us. There we go. Now it's just gonna be the top one that doesn't want to cooperate. Haha! -ha. You have to love her just right. Bam! Now we'll take these bolts and start putting them in hand tight. All right, so with those guys tightened down too, we are now ready to put on the wheel and then finish up doing the rest of them because we're doing all four. So that is gonna be the same process for the other side and it should be the same on the back. If not, I will double 
you will see some more right after this clip about doing the rear if there's any difference all right so now we're on the rear and the only difference so far is that the caliper bolts that hold the caliper on are a 13 millimeter so they're just a little bit smaller than those 14s in the front but let's go ahead and we'll get those loose and we'll put the pads and stuff on here all right so to take off this caliper now that we got those two bolts out we're gonna pry right there take this little cover off that's gonna give us access to the brake pad and then we're gonna lift up on these guys we're just gonna bend that guy as far forward as we can because we don't need them so this will just make it a little easier there we go just like that just like that that'll do that'll free up the brake pad and then what we do is this should be loose back there and that should be good but i'm going to stick a little pry bar in there you're sitting on my using a wrench here just to get a little bit of a, a pull on this caliper and the brake pad all that's going to do is create us just a little bit of space which is all we really need and then we should be able to push down on that Watch the finger because it'll pinch. Pull it back like so. Ah! Not drop it like that, but this, if you pry those up, makes this a whole lot easier. It will just slide right out, fall right out like ours did. And then on the back one, you actually need to just pull it and then it's good. All right, now we got the caliper off and again, another o-ring so we'll go ahead and we'll put that back on after we get this rotor off which i'm probably gonna have to give this a few good wax like the front because this one's pretty caked on there the only difference back here is you don't have to take off this bracket because this rotor will slide right out perfectly try and get out of the way this uh maybe <laughs> There we go, there's one, and then this will be number two. There we go. So now, we'll put our new ones on here. Man, I know I didn't get that one on the way, but the other one will go right down here. That's brand new too. And then we'll put our new pads into the caliper. I'll show you guys that and we'll put it on here. All right, so for the rear caliper, you have a brake pad with this cool little spider thing on it. That's what we're gonna call it. And we're gonna stick it in here, just like, so these go inside the piston of the caliper. You can squeeze them in. Oh, there. Ow. Whew. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> now it's all the way in there. Now I gotta put the front one on, which involves this cool, weird little cover. So I'll grab that caliper. Brake pad, I mean. And there's little slots right here that these two things gotta go into. And again, we just gotta force it down in there. Ah, oh, just like that. There we go. Now that's in, that's complete. But the last step is you have to take this cover And I want to 
say that it clips down into those guys somehow. There, just like that. Clips into there, and then we're going to push it and snap it into place just like that. Now the cowper is ready to slip over the new rotor, which you have to, you got to push that down. But first, we need to make sure that these little hooks down, ow, down here, I'm pinching my fingers all over today on this thing. Make sure on both sides those are in. Which on the back, I'm not sure that it is. There. Ooh. It just took a little bit of wiggling. But our bottom's in, our top is clipped in, this one is in, the bottom is in. Now it's just to put these bolts back in there, tighten them down, and then the rear is done. What's up guys, it's Trevor at the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Before we roll this vlog, I want to let you guys know that you need to head over to the Arctic Vet website. So go over to arcticvet.com and you guys can pick yourself up one of these hoodies. You can save 15% on these hoodies if you use the promo code SPRING2023. We got So on these ones, these are all new. We got the Faith Family Fun going down the right side. And over on the left side, we got the YouTube. And then on the back, we got that OG Arctic Vet. I don't think I have a logo of it. Let's check the car. This happens to be AV that started Arctic Vet. We don't, we just have the the name Arctic Vet. And I can't really show you guys my back. So anyhow, you can get 15% off of the hoodies using spring 2023. You can get hats, shirts of all kinds. We have this new logos on there. The new Arctic Vet family logos on there. Guys, I'm super excited. Head over to arcticvet.com and begin shopping today. And again, use that promo code to get 15% off of hoodies. It's only good for hoodies, so get you one while you can because it's not going to stay there forever. Now let's roll this vlog. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got to fix your view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.